Hello there and welcome to the mobile academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the Flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the Flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the Flutter and then the React Native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer we also have the course related to the full stack developer related to the uh, node.js express mongodb as well as the flutter over here and if you would like to join the uh, flutter bootcamp there is also a bootcamp course over here so make sure to go and check out the course over here there are free and then they paid codes and if you want to be a job ready flutter developer this is the course that you would want to take so see you guys on the next lesson till then have a great day let us continue with our lesson over here and in this particular lesson let us try to learn about the river pod generator over here and if you go to the pub that the day package over here the current version is of the 2.4.3 over here and if you read the documentation um, you'll see that the this project is a side project of for the river pod meant to offer a uh, different syntax for defining the providers um, so previously we saw how we create the provider manually but now if you want to make use of the code generator then you have to make use of the river pod generator that will help you to generate the uh, code for your provider it's going to create the provider for you and you can see the example how you have to create a part file and then annoy it with the add river pod itself right and then it's going to generate all of your provider itself so if you go back to our uh, view model uh, specifically over here uh, you don't have to go and create it manually in this way right here we are creating a notifier provider manually right but in case of using the um, the river pod generator over here we don't have to go and define it manually we just have to go and anoint it with the add river pod and define the part file so that's going to generate the part file which is of the file that the g dot the dot file and that's going to do all of this stuff for us so we don't have to worry about creating uh, the provider or different kind of the provider so let's just go and see how we can uh, make use of this one let's go to the installation part over here first we need the river pod annotation and then the river pod generator so since we are in the river pod generator let's just go and go to the installation and let's just grab that particular over here and let's just go and read me and you'll see that this particular dependency the river pod generator should be in the dev dependency so let's just go and add it to our pub spec.yaml file in the dev dependency over here and the next is we have the build runner already i guess we have that because we are using the freeze so we have the build runner and next we require the river pod annotation so let's just go and search for this particular package over here river pod annotation let's just go to the top and let's just go and search for the river pod annotation and this is the one let's just go and grab this one over here let's go to the installation and let's just grab this the current version from here and let's just go and add it to our dependency over here so let's just go and run the um, flutter pub git flutter pub git over here and let's uh, grab all of the dependency and we don't have any error that's good so let's go back let it, let me close this one now and what i can do is i'll just copy this particular uh, content from here and i'll just go and comment out this one and i'm going to paste it below over here so in case you want to go and refer it back to the manual use or manual creation of the provider you can just go and read that one and we don't need this one for now right we don't uh, have to go and make use of that provider manually create what i need to do is add river uh, add river pod annotation so i have to make use of the add river pod annotation over here and once we have that uh, let's go down over here and uh, this one the extend part over here so if you go to the uh, documentation itself 
uh, let's go back to this river pod not this one river pod generator over here and if you see that we need to provide that and we need to provide the part file as well right so if we will go up to here and define the part file over here itself and that will be of the user view model g dot so make sure that the file name or the part file name is correct or it matches with your the view model file or this particular file user underscore view underscore the model dot the dot file user underscore view underscore model dot the g dot the dot file so it need to match otherwise it cannot generate the uh, file for you or it cannot find that particular file for you and then the next step what we have to do over here is we need to extend it and we don't have to go and define in this way right so since we are using the code generator over here uh, what we have to do is we uh, just go and extend it and then the underscore dollar and then the user view model itself right so let's just go and run the build runner so uh, flutter pub run and then the build underscore the runner build 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 dash d uh, dash d which is to delete all of the uh, previous catch value so let's wait for it to generate it and now you can see that we have successfully generated one new file which is of the view model user underscore the view underscore model that the g dot the dot file and you can see that it has created us that particular provider so you can see that it has created the user view model provider for us the name is a different than what we have uh, used previously if you go over here we are using the user provider previously but now if you go and take a look the um the generated view model uh, or the provider for us is the user view model over here and it generates the auto dispose the notifier right so it make made use of the auto dispose over here uh, we have previously saw how we can auto dispose it right and, and how we can cast the value so here it has generated for us the auto dispose notifier provider and it has generated all the required code for us so what we have to do now is we just have to go and replace this one with the user of view model provider so that is what we have to replace it so here we'll just go and replace that that's perfectly fine here we have to replace it again and i guess we have some more places that we need to okay so let's just go and see what is the error over here i guess it's somewhere here uh yeah maybe here so let's just go and replace that over here as well and that's good so in the user list i guess we still have over here we need to replace that and here as well so now i guess we got all of those fixed okay so it's still here and it's still here okay so now we got the idea or now we know how we can make use of the code generator tool provided by the river port to generate our provider itself so we don't have to go and manually create in this way so here we have to go and manually create and we have to manually define the type of the provider that we are going to or the notify that we want to use but here you can see that we just have to create the class and extend it with the underscore the view underscore dollar with the view more because that's coming from the code generator tool and we just have to annotate it with the attribute report and then have to make use of the, the part file because don't forget to add this particular part file because it need to generate that particular file for us in order to get get that particular color provider created for us and um, next thing is what we can do is we can also go and make use of the in the uppercase river pod over here and it takes some argument over here so if you go and see this one it takes some argument over here in the documentation keep alive and the list of the object dependencies as well so here let's just go and pass the uh, keep alive and let's see what it does for us we need to pass it the uh, boolean value which is of the true over here and now let's just go and regenerate our uh, the the provider or the part file over here and let's wait for it to complete over here 
and now if you go and see this particular generated file now you'll see it's just the notifier provider this is what we were previously using you can see that the auto dispose has been removed from here so now the difference is if you want to go and keep make the um, the provider without the auto dispose right then you have to make use of this format then river pod and keep alive as a true otherwise you just have to go and make use of the add a river pod in the lower case that's going to generate the provider with the lower case uh, with the auto dispose the default one is with the auto dispose generated and if you don't want to all generate a provider with the auto dispose then you have to go and make use of in this particular format over here so I hope you got the idea I uh, went to use the this one and this particular format the annotation format is over here so I guess uh, that's all for this particular lesson and hope you got the idea about the code generator how you can use it right and how you should generate it and what's the difference between the previously uh, manual generation of the provider as well as the automatic provider generation with the code generator tool over here so depending on your requirement you may choose which one is better suited for you so that's all for this lesson and uh, we will meet up in the next one till then have a great day